What's up design family? Welcome to another episode of Fit Design TV. On today's episode, I'll be taking you guys through my top five fabric selections for both men's and women's hoodies within a casual sportswear and streetwear application. With thousands of options out there, it can be very easy to get lost in the mix and end up making the wrong choice for your specific design. You're gonna watch this video and you will learn how to identify and select the right fabric for your next design. Hey guys, and welcome to Fit Design TV. So glad to have you here. On this channel, we discuss all things sports fashion, graphic design, manufacturing, and technology. We'll discuss key topics, answer pressing questions, and provide actionable steps on starting your own product line. If you're interested in any of the above topics, stick around, you're in for a good one. Like I said, there are a thousands and thousands of options out there when it comes to fabric selection. The opportunities are endless and that's both a good thing and a bad thing. It's a bad thing because typically you don't know where to start. I'm pulling in for my last four years of designing and manufacturing sportswear to give you guys the best options that I found over my experience working also with a wide variety of design types. So whether the garment is more casual, it's more technical, it's more fitted, it's more loose. Different fabrics will come into play and have different effects and impacts on the final result. We'll take you guys through number one and this is the most common and quintessential hoodie fabric that I see on pullover hoodies that are not necessarily fitted but more of a relaxed cut and this would be a 50% cotton, 50% polyester blend. In terms of the weight, we'll be measuring the weight in GSM which is grams per square meter. So how many grams does a square meter of fabric weigh and then on the inner finish what those details are as well. So in this specific application with our blend of 50% cotton and 50% polyester, we'll wanna go for around a 320 GSM weight. This is going to give us a medium to slightly heavier weight feel to the fabric, both in the thickness and the overall weight. And in terms of the finish on the inside, we'll go for a brushed fleece inner finish. Why brushed fleece? So when we brush the garment on the inside, it breaks away the fibers, creating this very smooth, fleece-like appearance. Because of the larger surface area of the fibers, it's going to do a much better job at trapping heat in, and it's going to give the garment a just slicker and smoother finish on the inside, adding comfort to the wearer. The great blend of cotton and polyester here are gonna give you the best of both worlds. Cotton is a natural fiber, so it has a very natural and matte touch to it versus polyester, which is a synthetic fiber. It's gonna give the garment a bit more slickness and smoothness overall and add to the durability. So that's why I love this blend of both cotton and polyester in equal parts because it gives you the best of both worlds. This hoodie or this hoodie fabric is best suited to your quintessential pullover hoodie that's not quite fitted but not quite oversized. It's going to give you the flexibility that you need through the polyester while still retaining that natural cotton touch and durability that you're going also going to get with polyester. So it's a great blend and it's one that I would definitely recommend you going for, especially for a pullover style hoodie. Number two is a fabric that I would recommend for more fitted and athletic like training style garments. And this would be 85 cotton, 10 polyester, five spandex blend at a 280 GSM weight. So not necessarily medium weight, but more like lightweight to medium weight. The finish on the inside that I would recommend is an interlock inner finish, which is going to give the fabric structure and rigidity while still re retaining its flexibility. Because this is a garment that's going to be more or less fitted on the wearer, you want to make sure that it's going to give it the stretch that it needs to conform to the body and to articulate the different body, pod, body parts correctly. When it comes to the weight of the garment, like I said, we're gonna go for something that's 280, so nothing too heavy and nothing too light. I would definitely recommend this on fitted track suits and it's going to afford you the stretch you need because of the spandex that's in there as well. Number three is a little bit out of left field and it's one of my favorite fabrics, especially for technical sportswear. This would be a 100 polyester fabric blend, so it's 100% polyester, 
but the inner finish that we're gonna go for is a micro brushed fleece inner finish. So this fabric definitely has a dual tonality about it. On the outside, it's very slick and technical feeling that's going to give it water resistant properties and just overall, it's gonna make the fabric a lot more repellent to moisture and sweat, making it very, very suitable for outdoor applications. On the inside, the micro brush fleece is going to make it feel super, super soft, more so than brush fleece, and it's going to allow the heat to be trapped into the garment, giving the wearer a lot of kind of comfort and just overall thermal insulation that they're gonna need without having to make the fabric too thick. Because polyester in uh, without having to make the fabric too heavy. Because polyester is a lighter weight than cotton from a kind of pound to pound perspective, you're going to get a thicker fabric with a lower weight overall, which is just going to be better on the end wear and it's going to make the garment feel a lot more substantial. So from the inside, definitely use a micro brush fleece inner finish. And in terms of the weight, I would recommend something that's around 280 GSM. Because polyester is traditionally more lightweight than cotton, 280 GSM is going to have enough thickness into it to make the fabric feel substantial and to give it the structure and rigidity that it needs. Do bear in mind that this is a very technical fabric and because of the special treatment on the outside and on the inside, it's going to be a little bit more expensive than your run of the mill fabrics, but the payoff is huge and I definitely think that this is a fabric that you should definitely be using if you're intending your garment to be used for more outer door or more technical applications. So you want the fabric to function and to be able to withstand the elements. And number four is what I would say, kind of like your quintessential fabric blend for outer wear or kind of like knitted garments. And this would be a 95 cotton, 5% spandex blend at around a 300 GSM weight. This is the fabric that you go to when you have no other choice, but it's not a bad choice regardless. It's quite affordable, it's easily available, and it does the job the way it needs to. The cotton in there is gonna give the fabric a natural touch, a matte feel to it, so it's not gonna feel overly slick. At the same time, the spandex is going to allow the fabric to stretch while still retaining its shape at the same time. In terms of the finish on the inside, we'll go for an economical finish, which will be a French terry knit, and the French terry knit looks clean and it's more cost effective than some of the other finishes like brush fleece or interlock and it still gets the job done the way that you need it to by breaking apart the fibers in there that could allow the fabric to feel a lot more thermally insulating than if it wasn't finished like that. So I would, have, I would definitely recommend this fabric for anyone that's trying to make something that is not superly price sensitive, so you, you, you are going to be price sensitive and you wanna make sure you're getting the most amount of fabric that you can for your money, and someone that wants to go for something that has a nice amount of thickness to it, but is not overly thick and it's not too thin, so medium weight fabric, and then just something that is no frills and just overall gets the job done without asking too many questions. I'd highly recommend this fabric, and it's something that I know that a lot of you guys will benefit from. Number five is kind of like the brother to this fabric and it would be used in different applications but it would be a 95 polyester 5% spandex blend. I'd recommend again around a 320 GSM um, fabric because polyester is more lightweight than cotton you're also going to make you're also going to need you're also going to be able to use a fabric that is slightly thicker while still keeping the weight down. So 320 GSM here and the polyester and spandex blend is going to give the fabric a smoother and silkier touch so it's going to feel synthetic but it's going to do a great job at repelling water being sweat wicking and overall because of its high polyester content it's going to be very suitable for sublimation which is key in specific applications like creating uniforms and it'll give you a lot of customizability to the fabric because you can sublimate it you can color it in pretty much any color you want you can add crazy designs on it so it's going to be very good to use for uniform applications such as training apparel. If you're in a team, you need to create one-offs. And at the same time, the polyester content is going to do a great job at giving the fabric a lot of durability. So you're gonna be able to wash it without having to worry about breaking down the fibers. And it's gonna give the, the fabric a lot of sweat wicking properties. So very suitable for sports applications where you're actually in the fold, in the mix, not just a fabric or a hoodie that you would wear 
when transitioning between different activities. This you could wear while actually performing the activity and have you feeling very comfortable and very confident that the garment is going to perform the way you want it to perform. Those are my top five picks. Like I did say, there's a ton of different options out there that you can go for. It's very easy to get lost in the mix, but I wanted to give you guys what my experiences have been with these fabrics and really just distill down my list to top five. Hopefully it can help you guys in some way or another. If you feel that I've missed out any key fabrics, feel free to leave them in the comments below. It'll help us out and help out our audience. And if you guys wanna see other topics like this, feel, feel free to leave them in the comments as well. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Fit Design TV. If you enjoyed the video, consider smashing a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, consider doing so. We put out great content on a weekly basis, around two to three videos a week. Again, thank you guys so much for tuning in to Fit Design TV. Until next time, stay awesome.